The room we're standing in is called the Episcopal Library today, or the Bishop's Library. It was actually built to be a, a public library, the first public library in Newfoundland and Labrador, in 1859 by Bishop John Thomas Mullock. Mullock came from Limerick, and uh, one of my favorite stories about Mullock is how he got here with a doctorate and speaking seven languages, and was horrified that there was no public library. So he built his own, phys physically and literally, uh, by using his own books and uh, amassing a collection that eventually reached 4,500 volumes of his own in all seven languages in which he was literate. And he brought his dad with him to be the woodworker. So all the bookshelves that you see around here were really a picture of a dad's love for his son. And I find that one of the most moving things about the room. Yes, that is the oldest public library in Newfoundland and Labrador, but also that it was the woodwork was done by a dad for the son he was so proud of. The room uh, actually has not always been a public library. In 1922, the bishop's house next door burned to the ground. And for a time, the bishop and the priests lived in this library. They built a two-story house in here. And for that reason, this ceased to be a library, a, a functioning library in 1922, and was restored in 1977, when and they tore down the house and uh, made this a public place again. Now it's mostly used as a museum or for receptions and dinners and that kind of thing. Our aim is that it become a place of public use again and that people realize that we have this treasure here. But one of my personal connections to it is that I get to work here every day now. But as a teenager, I was one of the teenagers who came after school and cleaned off all the books, which still in 1977 were covered in the soot from a fire in the 20s. So we got to open those books for the first time in 50 years. And sometimes leaves would fall out, not of the book themselves, but poems and records and speeches and things like that. So we, I remember finding a handwritten poem by Bishop Howley that probably dated back to, well, he died in 1914, so it had to be before that. Um, that was tremendously exciting for a teenager. And then today, every time I walk into the room, I think I recapture a little bit of that excitement. And that's what I'd like to share with other people.